Hi there. I wanted to go through uh, a new feature that's coming out uh, in uh, 07 um, regarding uh, Lewis scripting and how you can use it to add props to all of your sequences. And uh, let's walk you through that. So there's a couple of assumptions here before you actually get to running the script. So you obviously have your X lights up and running. You want to open or create a new sequence. And in my case, I have one here called template. The sequence contents is irrelevant, doesn't matter. What you want to do is go to right click, edit your display elements. Now, hopefully you know about render order and the importance of render order. You want to grab a view, not your master view, but a view um, that you've got it all sorted and everything else is everything is good here, correct? All in the right order that you want. Okay, so once you have that, you're good. So come back here, go to your layout. Um, and a new thing in th in this version is you're gonna have to click on that 3D option the first time, otherwise uh, it's not saved. So uh, be sure and click on that. And um, so let's add a new prop. Uh, let's say you bought a new prop and I'm just gonna pick something easy like a star and I'm gonna drag it in here. If this is just being added to a group, then really you don't have to do anything. You just add it to the group and you're done. But many times you have a new prop that you wanna add specifically to all your shows or all your sequences. So let's go through that. We're gonna assume you know how to add it to a group. So you would add it to your everything group, add it to your all-star group, et cetera. That, that's easy enough, you just add it to the group. I think you can right click, um, add selection to existing groups. You can add that, that's, that's not the issue here. We wanna to go to your sequencer, open up a sequence that you have. Um, I opened up my template, I'm gonna right click, edit the display elements. I'm sure you're aware of how to do this. You're gonna have the prop over here on the left. This is the problem that you're facing is you're gonna have this on the left on every sequence you own. So let's do it once and we'll make that, you know, we use this on every other sequence. So let's drag it over and I'm gonna put it, I'll just put it alphabetical just to make my life easy. And I've added it in there. Let's make sure I, I do it under my all, my all one. I'm not sure if I was highlighted. If I, There we go. So that's what you normally do once you come in here and then you would say make master right and that becomes the master order for this sequence and what we're going to do here is going to use this on all your other sequences so let's save my save my template sequence now you could use your first sequence you use in your show any sequence or you just create a blank one a 30 second blank one is, is perfectly fine i'm going to go and uh go to the layout click the save button here so that's all saved. And the reason we have to do this is because this script is going to look for those views. So let's now that we're going to run these scripts, maybe you've never even seen this option. It's a little, sort of a hidden treasure here. Run scripts. There's the run scripts. I'm going to choose the make master script that you should see. Um, I'm not totally positive, but you might have to hit click to download to see it. If it's not in your list, you hit download and you can select it. So let's hit run. First step is select the template sequence. So this is the one that has the corrected view. So I corrected it in my template sequence. I'm gonna click okay. Now it's gonna say which view out of all those views do you wanna use when we're copying it over? I'm gonna choose the all model sorted. So that's the view that has got the groups at the top, my models at the bottom, the new prop has been added. I'm gonna click okay. Now it's gonna show you all the sequences that you wanna update. I'm going to clear the template because that's already done. I'm just going to choose one for now, but you can right click, select all, select highlighted. I would start with one just to make sure you're comfortable with the process. Click OK. What it's going to do now is, oh, I've got to um, delete that. I'm, I already ran it on this script already, so that's why it shows up twice. I should have chose a different name. So you shouldn't get an error. Uh, and it opened it up while I was talking. It opened it up. It did the make um, models as the master. It saved it, it closed it, and done. So that's it. Um, you can run it again. First step, select the template. So let's choose the template. Uncheck that. Click OK. Choose the view. I want that one. Click OK. I'm going to choose a different sequence this time. Click OK. And in the background, it should load the sequence. It's not rendering it. It's literally just adding that prop to that sequence 
and saving it. That's all it's doing. It's not going to go render it. It's not going to do any. The, the prop is added. It does not have any effects on it. There is another um, Lua script here that will clone the effects. I wasn't planning on including it in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. I haven't tested it lately, but I think it should be pretty self-evident. Select the source model. Okay, so we had a star, right? So I'm going to say, let's let's take all the effects from my uh, mega tree star. Why not? I should have a mega tree star in here somewhere. Uh, here we go. Mega tree superstar. Click OK. And I want to the target model. I want to copy it over to the new one called plain old star. Plain old star. Scroll down. Could probably hit the first letter. It would have brought it down quicker. Um, there we go. Star. Click OK. And again, which sequences do you want to do? I'm going to say that one. In the background now, it's going to open up that sequence, copy all the effects from my Megatree Superstar down to the new star and save it. It's not going to render it. It's just going to save it. You're going to have to do a batch render afterwards. All right, so let's uh, let's let's cross our fingers and see how it works. The open recent sequence. It's going to be at the top because it's the last one we opened. And one thing I like to do, and this is just personal preference, edit display elements, right click, hide unused. That gets rid of all those extra groups that don't have effects on it just to make it easier. And I should be able to see, well, first of all, my uh, star down, there it is, star. It's got three layers copied to it, all these effects. And I'm not gonna triple check it, but I'm pretty certain those are the same effects. Again, three layers. So that's what it did. It copied it over uh, and I can right click, edit display elements. You will see my master view. It's got it all in this nice order that my template had in it. And it should have star in the middle here, alphabetized. And there it is right there. Boom, done. So a couple of clicks. Make sure you have your, your order the way you want it. Um, just thinking out loud here, you might have an ordering for PPD, an ordering for Showstopper, an ordering for Tom Betchor's uh, Magical Light Show sequences, an order for Extreme sequences. Um, you don't. You may have more than one master list or, or template, as I like to call it. Um, totally up to you. Um, pretty much a risk-free um, process, but you might want to hit the F10 key, which is a backup. I think of, there we go. And that will just fire up a backup of all of your sequences before you run the script. Just added insurance. Uh, leave that as an extra tip. Um, sort of unrelated to this, but in the latest version of 07, I wanted to call out that uh, uh, there was a, a moving head bug. Um, I don't think I have a moving head in here, so I can't show it. But it, it, anyway, if you hit the moving head and you hit remap, it would cause a crash. Uh, that's fixed. And the other thing was, um, I don't know, escapes me. Anyway, yeah, if you have any questions or have any issues, comments, whatever, be sure and like the video, subscribe, tell your friends. And we're hanging out in the Zoom room most nights. So uh, if you have anything you'd like to share or need help with, come see us in the Zoom room at xlightzoom.com. Have a great day and uh, see you later.